What's going on, everyone? As you can see, I've got the fourth ranked featherweight now with me, Arnold Allen. How's it going, bro? Good, man. Good. Thanks for having us on. Uh, anytime, you know, I'll get you whenever, on whenever you want. So I just wanted to catch up with you a little bit. So I know it's been a few weeks uh, be since your fight with Calvin Cater. Uh, but before mm. I get into that, just how's your day been? What you've been up to the last couple of weeks? How's life? Uh, I just want to do some... Uh... Do some weights. I smashed my legs to bits down the gym, <laughs> and then I had Nando's. That's that's it. That's what I've been doing today. But uh, yeah, now everything's, everything's good. All good, man. All just normal uh, stuff. Was that was that with your dad or your brother? No, I went with my missus. My dad's uh, he's away. He's away on work. So, uh, well, I haven't lifted any weights for a bit. So I just went and did some. Uh, used like the leg machines because my hands are a bit funny. I can't grab the bar at the minute, but. Um, yeah, no, good. Oh, no, so you said like a few weeks. So do, do you know at this point if you need to do any surgery or if you just feel like it's just a bit of, uh, you just need to rest it kind of thing? Yeah, well, I've had the scan, so I'm waiting to find out what's up with it. I don't know yet. But um, no, it feels right. Like I went in, like I said, I went into that fight with pre-existing injuries. So if there was an opportunity, I could have definitely, you know, got through it and made it happen again with uh, a lot of tape. And hand wrapping <laughs> but yeah no it's all good it's what it is and just speaking about your last performance against calvin i know it's been in like about two or three weeks now but yeah. um in terms of your performance i know i know you looked really good in that first round how would you rate yourself out of 10 in that performance yeah first round first round felt great uh got my rhythm got my timing got my distance all those things and uh it was going how we prepared and how i anticipated other than uh, the injury, obviously. But, um, yeah, uh, I'm glad I at least got a round in and it looked good in the round rather than sort of losing a round and then him getting injured because, obviously, that wouldn't have been very ideal. But, yeah. Yeah, it's a shame that it ended the way that you did because I feel like that's one of the best rounds I've seen from you as well. Um, just the speed was ridiculous, I felt. as, And you can feel, like, the impact it was really having on Calvin because yeah. normally when Calvin fights someone, like, even though he's taking the shots, you can see, like, he's kind of just eating them. But I felt like in there, you can see it was really having an impact on him. Yeah. Um, and now with the news that's just come out, like, over the last few days, that they're doing an interim title fight between Yair and Josh, I know you're pretty dis – I know you're going to be disappointed, but I know the kind of person you are, like, it is what it is. But just wanted to get your reaction on that and basically how you're feeling. Yeah, no, I was a little bit surprised. I thought – I thought I was in with a, you know, just with the win streak on it. So I know the last fight wasn't ideal, but I thought when you put the the nine fight win streak without the last one, that that was more than worthy than either of what those guys have done at the minute. So, but yeah, you know, it, it should be a good fight. And um, fighting in Australia was far from ideal. It's a long way away, and uh, you know, all that you'd have to fly a camp out there and all that. You know, obviously for a world title, you make it happen, but. Yeah, no, I guess it's um, it's my whole career's kind of been like this. It's it's a blessing in disguise, and my goal was like never to be the interim champion. So I want to be the the champion. So it would have been nice to be a part of that. But um, yeah, always work for something better. Did they not approach you at all? Was there not any discussions at all? No, nothing, nothing. Uh, and in terms of the fight itself, who do you see coming out on top in that one? Uh I don't know. I'll be, I'll be honest, I don't know. I think Emmett's got a good style for someone like Rodriguez. Um, you know, he's a pressure puncher. He can wrestle as well. I think he can cause Rodriguez a lot of problems, but Rodriguez is seen he can win. He can win any anyhow, you know. He's he's very scrappy, very wily. You know, you take him down, he's throwing up submissions and that. On the feet, in the last round, rounds down, he'll still find a knockout. So, yes, it should be a good fight. I think it'd be a, it'd be a fun fight. Do you feel like if they did come and approach you with that fight and for that date, you would have been a bit hesitant because of your hands? Because you're not quite sure yet with the scan results and all those things. Um, no, I think it was a title thing. I probably would have just been like, yep. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's far from ideal. Obviously, more more time would be better. But, um, but I mean, it, it is good because we've got the time now to fix whatever needs fixing and um, we can attack that that top three, top whatever it is. And uh, go in there injury free. You know, when, when I got offered the uh, Cater fight, I wasn't really sure. More more for the injuries than anything. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to sort of get through a camp and then get through the fight. And but like I said, I used a lot of tape and tape my hands back together. And uh, 
everything sort of held up. And uh, yeah, no, it was all good. And then now I've got a little bit more time to, to fix those injuries. No, that's really good. So it's great that you've got the time now to fix those hands. And I know that that's probably the par- priority for you. But it, yeah, it sounds like obviously Volkanovski is going to be fighting in February. Um, mm. Yaya and Emmett, like we've just discussed, are going to be fighting in it February too. In terms of an ideal return, when do you think you'd like to come back? And is there anyone in particular you'd be wanting to face? Yeah. Uh, well, they got, they've got well, they're, they're talking about that London card, aren't they? Or that UK card, Cardiff. Uh, anywhere of a roof, basically. Uh, yeah, that that would be cool. Obviously, if they're going to do a stadium show, I want to be part of that in the UK. Like no one, I don't think any British fighter wants to miss out on that. And if they're going to do that show, yeah, there's there's only a couple of options left. They put me number four, so a lot of people are saying Max is a fight to make. That, that'd be a fun one. Um, I don't see why not. And, and also, I think a win over him would be a bigger undeniable than, than the other. Then then you probably throw yeah. your enter him in the bin, right? So yeah, the <laughs> only other option the only other option I can see for you is Brian Ortega, but I feel like that's not an option because he got his shoulder or something dislocated against Yair, and we yeah. don't know when he's going to be back. And I feel like mm-hmm. March is definitely going to be too soon for him. So yeah. if they can get that uh, fight between you and Max Holloway, because mm-hmm. I know Max Holloway has recently visited London, so oh, yeah. maybe he wants to fight in London and see how yeah. it is. It'd be yeah. it'd be amazing. Yeah. It'd be amazing. And it'll be three rounds as well. So But yeah, that you know, that's, like... the goal is to be the best in the world. So yeah, yeah, you know, the guys above you, those are the there's the options are very limited. Yeah. So. I did I did try and set you up for a title fight with Vat Volkanovsky. <laughs> I know you saw the video. I was trying to play the England and Australia yeah, Ashes yeah. card. He liked it. Yeah. You know what the cool the cool thing is uh I've never really you know, I don't really say anything. I don't talk. And maybe that's one of the reasons I got passed up on, but I, I don't think so. But the amount of people that are sending me messages, people commenting, people tagging me, like disappointed that the that's happening. It, that's kind of cool. Like it's like finally getting sort of a bit of respect and a bit of acknowledgement that that should be me in that position. But, you know, I'm, it is what it is. But again, I'll say it again, but um, it's cool to see everyone coming out and saying that, that that's what they think. So, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Largely because you're on a ten is it ten fight win streak now? Yeah. Um because because Yair and Ortega just wasn't that decisive. And then mm. you've got loads of people saying that Calvin actually beat Josh Emmett. And then of course your performance recently, even though it was an injury at the end of at the end of that. Yeah. Just how you were in that first round was probably the most decisive any of those guys have been so far. So like you say, it's nice, it's nice for me to hear it too, as a UK okay. fan, of course. Um, and and it's good that you feel that way because, like you say, it hasn't always been like that. But now it's nice to see that people are putting you in that bracket and feel like you yeah. deserve that. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, just with regards to the February card, so obviously Islam is fighting Volkanovski, but about three or four weeks ago, he put on a very very good performance against Charles Oliveira. Just wanted to get your thoughts on uh, what you thought uh, going into that fight, what would have happened, and just your reaction to Islam's performance. Yeah, you know, I thought uh, I I was thinking Oliveira was going to do a lot better. I thought this arm would pressure him, and, and obviously he wouldn't have an issue with the uh, the grappling. Like he would oblige the grappling, but I didn't think he would run through his grappling like that. You know, and I was surprised also when um, Oliveira, did, I don't know, he, he kind of like got clipped and then did the same thing where he sort of pulls guard. I, I don't know. I don't think he got dropped, but yeah, I don't, I don't think you want to be. Maybe he was hurt and he kind of pulled guard thinking he'd be safe against uh, Islam. But yeah, he he cut through him on the ground. Did he? He, he, that choke was like, you know, Oliveira's a good black belt and he was tapping as soon as he got to the right side of that arm triangle. So yeah, he must have some, like a good squeeze on that choke, good setup as well. Yeah, that was, that was impressive. Really impressive. Yeah, I think um, a lot of people are saying that Islam squeeze is like pretty, pretty good because I think yeah. against Drew Dope, egg- Against Drew Dober as well, I don't think he was in a like a proper arm triangle position. It was just his sol- shoulder pressure that just choked him. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, so yeah. And then, of course, Volkanovski versus Islam in February. How do you think that one is going to go? I, I think Islam will win. But I think uh, I, I think Volkanovski can cause him a lot of problems, you know. Like his speed, the size, I think, will be a factor. Like the, the height, you know, he's quite short. So it's going to be... Difficult to get. It's difficult to shoot in on like short, stocky guys. You know, you have to 
there's a lot you have to travel a lot further to get into their legs and Volkanovski obviously he's very fast he's coming from the weight below so he's going to have a speed advantage and uh, Islam's not really known for like his, his footwork and speed and stuff so he's more of like a he's going to smash and grind right so uh, yeah I'd be interested to see how Volkanovski can do it if he can keep him off him for a few rounds and I, I think it comes down to the cardio really if Volkanovski can keep getting up or keep getting out of clinches and burning out of Makachev out, then he'll win it. But then if Makachev can keep up the pace, keep taking him down, dragging him down, because I, I think Volkanovski, got, he made a good point. Like, he is good at getting up. He's like a, you know, he's short stuck. He's got the little legs. It's hard to hold those guys down. He's very explosive, you know, kick you off him, make space and get up. So, uh, yeah, it's the battle of who can keep their game up longer than, you know. So I think if uh, Islam can keep taking him down, getting him to the fence, dragging him down, then then he'll win it. But if Alex can keep getting back to his feet and work outwork him, then then he'll take it. Do you think uh, Volk is going to do that thing where you expect to fight a wrestler grappler, so you so you so you go down in your level a bit more and start off even lower position because he's short already. So if he's fighting at an even lower stance, that could be quite uh, interesting. No, I don't think he will. I think he'll just move a lot. He's going to move, move, move because. Uh, he has really good footwork already, so I think if he's on his and he's already, I don't know what he's what is he like five six or something. So if he's already <laughs> already moving like that and he's down that, because uh, Maxiev looks huge, like he looks massive. So I know he fights yeah, in quite a short stance anyway, but you know he, he's got a good shot. Like he has a very good entry, but uh, it's just extra distance. Someone like um, Volkanovski is very fast. I don't think Maxiev's fought someone. That moves like Volkanovski, you know, very quick, very good feet. So not I can figure off the top of my head. Um, and then just this past weekend, did you catch UFC two eight one? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. I watched. Um, I didn't watch all the fights. I watched. I watched a handful of the fights. It was a good card from what I see. Yeah, definitely. I wanted to just quickly ask you about Alex and Izzy and Chandler and Poirier. Did you catch those ones? Uh, yeah, I watched the main event, and uh, it was a good fight. You know, like. I thought Israel was winning. That, that was right, obviously. But it weren't like a runaway. You know, he was winning the rounds, but he wasn't like other the first round, then the round he wrestled. But like he was, Alex was in it the whole time. You could see he was clipping him with that shot. The left hook was getting close. And I was thinking when I was watching it, I was like, he kept backing up with his hands out and then leaving to the right side where he was getting caught with that left hook. And I was like, I don't know. I wouldn't want to play that game with someone like uh, Pereira. But, you know, he got caught. It is what it is. Good isn't fight. it crazy that isn't it crazy that someone who was apparently like gassing out throughout the fight still manages to have that kind of power in the fifth round? Yeah, yeah. That hook was so short as well, and it was like he threw it like upwards. It was weird. <laughs> yeah. The power he can make like that, crazy. Yeah, crazy. Do you think there'll be any BD rematch? And how do you think then if they had a rematch, how will it go next time? Uh, yeah, I think there will be. You can't, you know, for for Pereira, that's probably the best case scenario. You know, they got like Hamzat. If, if Adesanya <laughs> takes you down and wrestles you, if Hamzak gets hold of you, it's probably going to be a one-round affair, you know? You yeah. can't really see him. And, and even the guys that ain't as good as a wrestler as um, Hamzak, they're probably sort of, you know, licking their lips right now, so seeing him. Yeah. Obviously, he's a very dangerous striker, but again, Adesanya took him down, so and, and controlled him, so they're probably all... I'm sure everyone's mm-hmm. fired up in the division thinking, I'll take him down. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I actually, you know what? You're right. He he probably does want to face Adesanya next because if, yeah. if you're playing the chances, then he's the guy you'd want to face rather than someone like a Vittori or a Whitaker who yeah. can wrestle too. Uh, exactly. Sean Strickland. Sean Strickland didn't wrestle. Like I don't know why he didn't because he's meant to be known as like he can <laughs> wrestle and grapple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. So that was a bit strange. Yeah. And then uh, did you watch the super fight between Chandler and Poirier? Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. Because I, I watched all the interviews with uh, Poria before, and he was—he seemed like he was like kind of over it a bit. Like, oh no, I'm going to outclass him, outskill him. We're not going to war. Uh, yeah, he didn't say that explicitly, but like he was kind of given that kind of vibe. And then in the fight, he got hit a couple of times. He just—he just sort of sagged on the fence, and he's like, "You know what? Let's go, let's go." <laughs> he's right. Like, yeah, he's a tough guy. Yeah, Both and. Both of them are, yeah. The thing with Chandler is uh, he, he punches hard because you can see the way it was, like, affecting Poirier. He was like, yeah. whoa. Like, yeah, it was yeah, very, yeah. like, backed up on the fence. 
Mm. I, and then I felt like he had him hurt, and then he went for a takedown in the was it in the first round? Yeah, I think yeah. it was in the first round. Yeah, back yeah, control in the first round, didn't he? Yeah, and then the way I feel like if Michael Chandler, like <clears throat> I don't know how to put this politically, but if it, if he if his IQ was a little bit fight IQ mm. was a little bit higher, like he would win those fights against Gaethje. Yeah. I feel like he could have won, but he he gave it up, showboating yeah. and putting his hands in the end, these kind of things. And then against Dustin Poirier, he was like. It, it, he all he had to do was wrestle because when he had mm. Dustin Poirier on the ground, well, I guess he tried to, but then Poirier reversed yeah. it and then choked him. Yeah, he's well, uh, he's just all in every time, and he's so. yeah, he is. What do you think about uh, afterwards when they had their little argument? Well, not argument, but in their post fight about you know Dustin calling him a dirty blah blah because he yeah. splat his nose. I mean, he's right. I see he had the back control with low hooks. He had his fingers all up in his nose and his mouth, uh, spitting the blood all over. That's gross, man. But. Uh, to be fair, I have done that in a fight before. So one of my amateur fights. <laughs> but I was talking crap and I was just like, oh, oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> all the blood come out of my nose on him. But yeah. No fish hook No, nah, no fish hook But um, yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. He's trying to win by any means. And uh, yeah, it's, there's a lot of these guys out there. You know, everyone's fought guys out there. They're in your shorts. They got their fingers in your glove. And uh, yeah, yeah. There's all sorts of guys out there. So, aside from fighting, what's new in your life, Arnold? Any new hobbies? Any new... Oh, yeah. Wait, tell us. Tell us about your uh, fun month of November. You're doing all these uh, charity events. You're doing all these... Yeah. Running. I've done like a... Well, I've done the first half, obviously, it was the 16th. So, I was just doing... I was running. I ran a load of half marathons and um, did like an auction, like some of my training kit and stuff. And uh, growing a mustache, but not very quickly. Um, what else... Yeah, I just kind of I took it back on the running because my legs are taking a battering. My legs are feeling so crap. And uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna. I've got some ideas for the end of the month, so I'm gonna do some other stuff. I have a yeah, were you like doing half marathons every other day or, or something like that? Yeah, it's really like, gonna mess up your legs. Yeah, I did like <laughs> three, three in the week, but then it, it was just traveling everywhere because of the traveling. I was so stiff. Like I was running and just. Usually, like half marathon is fine. Like I can run that no problem. But yeah, my lower, my like lower half from sitting in the plane, sitting in cars, it was just, yeah, it didn't feel great. So there was some rather controversial news uh, recently about Tesco upping their meal deal prices again to three pound yeah. ninety. I don't know if you heard about that. Yeah. Uh, if you don't have a club card, don't bother going to Tesco. Yeah, everything. The inflation's out of control. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Kind of, that's the biggest tell. The meal deal prices, once they're out there, it's just all over. If yeah, they used to say they used to say that sometimes you there was like the big Big Mac inflation like test or something yeah. to see how much a Big Mac costs. But now I think I think you put in the it's the meal deal. Uh, meal deal <laughs> test. Once in it there. gets to a fiver, it's all over. Oh uh, I think once it gets to a fiver, it's just surely if it's three pound ninety now, you can buy the individual some individual items less than three pound ninety. So you're yeah, kind right. of like Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> before you before you could buy such stuff which would go to nearly five pounds and you get it for three pounds, but now yeah. it's like individually it's less than two. Yeah, exactly. Um, anyway, I didn't want to keep you much longer. Um, I just wanted to say thank you, Arnold, for uh, for the interview. Um, I'll catch up with you again soon. Is there anything you wanted to say before you go? Any news you wanted to share? Uh, no, nah, no, nah, nothing's going on. <laughs> nothing's do, going do the on. fans? Uh, do you want to let the fans know when you'll probably be back in training, like going back to the gym and that? Uh... Well, I'm, I'm kind of, I am going to the gym at the minute. I'm just like, I'm training like safely, you know, I'm kind of training. I was like tapping things and yeah, no, nah, I'll be all right. Got a couple of weeks. I think we should be back, back to hundred percent and, and pushing hopefully. So just um, waiting for the results on this and through my past experience, uh, it isn't going to be that bad. So yeah. <laughs>